hello now to Jocelyn Gandara from the Alaska Nanix Women's Basketball Team joining us tonight from up in Fairbanks. Jocelyn, thanks for joining us on GNAC Insider. Thank you for having me, sir. How are you? Well, you don't have to call me sir. You can call me Rob. That's just fine. Jocelyn, <laughs> junior guard okay. for Alaska Nanooks and also the GNAC Women's Basketball Player of the Week. She averaged 30 and a half points per game as the Nanooks would one and one at home last week to open conference play. My, oh my, you're, you've made an immediate impact on the Nanooks this year. You're leading the GNAC scoring 19.2 points a game. Have you always been a, a real high-scoring player throughout your throughout your prep career down there in El Paso, Texas, and then when you played at Lawson Community College down there in California? Uh, actually, yes. Yes, I have. Since, since high school, uh, I didn't expect it to even, not even to college. Something told me it's going to be harder. It's going to be faster. I need to pick up my game and just, just me training every single day, I was able to just get better at all my talents. And I was just able to just keep staying consistent, at least at that part. So, yeah, I have been, definitely. What's your go-to? Is it, is it an outside shot? Is it a drive? I mean, when, when, when Jocelyn is going to score a bucket, how are you going to do it? I'm taking it to the hoop, straight to the hoop. Either I'm getting mm-hmm. a contact, either I'm getting a foul, I'm getting straight on the line and shoot those free throws. Easy way to get a bucket. Is that something you developed uh, when you were growing up? I would say uh, yes and no. In a sense, I wasn't really sure uh, what my weaknesses or my strengths were, uh, especially growing up, especially playing the sport in itself. I had to realize what I was good at, things that I could work on. And just after playing for so long, it, I just knew that that was something I was really uh, strengthening-wise. That was something I was really good at. So something I was able to just keep maintaining for a while. Well, not only are you a high scorer, you're also grabbing better than six rebounds a game. You rank fifth in the conference with a 45.9% three-point field goal percentage as well. You thought that coming to a four-year college was going to be a bit harder, but again, owing to those numbers, that has not been the case. Has the transition maybe been just a little easier than you would have expected? Uh, actually, yes, you're right. Yeah, it was it was a lot of e- easier than I expected. Uh, I was I think I was more worried about the teams I was playing, uh, more the challenges that was coming towards me. I was more afraid of who 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 were my opponents, but I always had to remember they were humans too, and they played just like me. So it's either who who plays harder, who who plays better. Is that is hard work? Is that something you pride yourself on? Always do. That's one thing I work on every single day when I wake up, when I go to practice, something I even do even in the classroom, outside of the court, something that I definitely have high hopes in, in myself especially. Jocelyn Gandara joining us, the Alaska Nanook women's basketball standout guard. You talk about the, the classroom. I understand you're majoring in criminal justice there at uh, the University of Alaska. Why criminal mm-hmm. justice, and what do you see yourself doing with that degree when you graduate? Why criminal justice? I grew up watching Law and Order. <laughs> it was one of my favorite shows. <laughs> I always, uh, I always loved their jobs, what they did uh, with for the community, how they helped everybody, and I just always thought of myself as I wanted to be that person to run in that yellow tape and figure out what happened to that person. What is it? What is something that I can do? Uh, can I give that family those answers that they need? That's something that I've always wanted to do growing up. So that's definitely something I look forward to, especially having this degree. I want to go more specifically into like the forensic forensics field, autopsies, things like that. So I'm actually looking forward to that. Uh, I have one more year left, and my professors that I have right now, they're really good, and they're really helping me to get into that step and where I want to be like in the future, especially educational wise. We talked a little bit about your your transition. You grew up down there in El Paso, Texas. You went to Lassen Community College in Susanville, California. What was it about the Nanooks program, about Fairbanks, about the University of Alaska that uh, they encouraged you to to make the trip there? The environment is beautiful out here. That's one thing I can Mm -hmm. say that's completely different compared to uh, Lassen, compared to Texas. It is nice out here. The people here are very awesome, very welcoming. They just, they're just they just uplifting people, 
and I knew that just coming here, I was going to have some positive people around me no matter what. The campus itself, faculty, staff, everybody, again, is very welcoming. And just meeting my coaches and my uh, former teammates, they were just really cool, really cool people, and I knew that they trusted me, and I was able to trust them. So I knew that we would have a great relationship, especially coming here. So I knew it would be a great decision for me. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but the Nanooks are 6-5 and five right now on the season. But that mm-hmm. sixth win total has already surpassed last year's total of four wins overall. So you're already two up mm-hmm. over last year. How good can this Nanooks team be this year? Because, again, it looks like you've got some new faces up there. Certainly you're one of the quality mm-hmm. newcomers to that program. How good can this program get? Oh, it's getting even better. And I, I, I hope and pray that everybody is out there and looking out for it because the Knicks are coming out strong this year. And I'm very happy to say that we've accomplished a lot this year, especially with the new faces, new members and everything. It's going to be getting better and better. You scored 27. You had six rebounds, three assists, and the 81-76 win over Western Oregon. And then you had a GNAC season high 34 to go with eight rebounds and a couple of steals in that tough uh, three point seventy sixty seven loss to Concordia. When you look back on those two games, are are you already playing at mid season level? Am I playing mid season level? Um, that's actually a great question. I would say just because the season has just started, I feel like it's just this is just barely the beginning. If anything, I know that the, the next teams that we're going to be playing, like, if anything, they're going to be tougher. It, mm-hmm. It's not necessarily like I'm expecting something, but I feel like there's something big coming ahead that I need to look forward to. Yeah. Jocelyn Gandara joining us tonight from up in Fairbanks, Alaska. Final question for you. You're on the eve, obviously, of, of the holiday break. What do you do during the, the during the break period for the for the holidays to to keep yourself physically and, and mentally ready to jump back into the season in the new year? Every time I go back home, I always go back and visit my AAU coach back at home. I train every morning, no matter what. If it's two hours, three three hours, no matter what it is, that's the first thing I do every time I go back home. Uh, the rest of it, uh, I try to stay just around positive people, keep my mind flowing, keep myself busy. And if anything, and I just always make sure I stay in the gym, stay in the court, and I eat a lot too. So I make sure that goes into play as well. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, it, it has been an absolute delight to talk to you. I, I, I can't look forward to uh, meeting you uh, at the uh, GNAC tournament this year, if not before. Jocelyn, thanks for joining us tonight continued success welcome belatedly obviously to the great northwest athletic conference and again i i look forward to meeting you soon have a great holiday and and we will talk again i'm sure definitely thank you sir uh thank you mr rob for having me on the show and everything uh much blessings to you guys and happy holidays as well